Oh my god, Numkins. Here we have two terrifying 80s style horrors for you from 616 Games. I hope you enjoy both of them. Big shout out to our Patreon supporter, Reaper, for making this all happen. You are an amazing Numkin Reaper, and we love you very much, as always. Shout out to our producer, of course, Alice. Her link's on screen right now. She's been playing through Dishonored. She's been playing games with me. Make sure you follow her to stay up to date with Alice's content. She is amazing. Anyway, guys, enjoy the spooks and dukes, and check out our Patreon if you want to get involved in nominating, voting, and early access to videos. Hey guys, how's it going? Playing another game from 616 Games today for that 80s horror aesthetic we're playing after midnight. This is a home invasion based horror game. Should be wonderful. Can't wait. Yes. Let's leap in. I will say, I really like the intros and stuff. After midnight. So the question is, is this going to be narrative driven? Or is this going to be more like... Panicking and dying constantly? I guess we'll find out. Okay. We are in our house. Standard controls. This is uh, Unity with a VHS filter over it. Okay, container lights off and on. I will keep them on for now. Probably for the best. Game seems to autosave, which is wonderful. Wondrous, I love it. New SMS from Mummy. Ah, oh, this is very like that other game. Oh, what the fuck was it called? There was another home invasion I played recently where you got text from your mum that was pretty good. Brad, don't go to bed too late. Remember to lock the doors. Don't worry, Mum. I'll be fine. I am Brad the Chad. Okay? And my mum doesn't need to check up on me, but she does anyway. Dinner's in the oven. Don't open the door to anyone. Alright, thanks, Mum. Okay. Well, I guess we should make sure the doors are locked. Well, that's, that's already locked. I'm guessing we have a back door somewhere, though, that does need to be locked. That's the bathroom, or, or utility room or some shit. Oh, this house design is very odd. Lots of very narrow corridors. Okay, we have a back door. Okay, that's currently locked as well. As is that room, which is weird. Right, light switch. Kitchen light switch. Wonderful. Smells delicious. This is spoiled. Better throw it in the trash. Good thing I'm not hungry. God damn it, Mom. Let's just put it there for the flies to devour. This is disgusting. Holy shit. There's not many things that really gross me out, but, like, rotting food is actually definitely on that list of things that I really don't like. Alright, anywhere else to go? Got a phone. If we need to make an emergency call, which I'm guessing we probably will, but the line will be cut and we'll realize and we'll panic and be like, oh my god, the line's cut. What do we do? Okay, this is this on the other side. And I can't open it for some reason, which is really weird. Let's look around upstairs. Anything else is there? I don't want to sleep yet. I'm going to go watch a movie. Okay. Where do we keep our TV? Some really odd little rooms in this place. Like, Jesus. Okay, so there's like a storage room, maybe. Okay. I'm alright with storage room. TV. We've got a tape. Whack it in the VHS player. Let's put the light on. Oh, this is uh, another one of their games, I believe. And we have a drawing of... I don't actually know what that is because of the filter, but... I'm sure it's beautiful. I'm sure it's a work of art. Oh, hi there! That's a little worrying. Oh, 
This is way more interesting than the movie. Okay, so creepy man outside. Let's see if we can get a better view of him. Or will he be gone? I think he's gone. Oh dear. Well, that's not numb. Probably nothing, though. Let's just go back to the movie, right? Oh. Yeah, he's definitely gone. Well, I really enjoyed that, guys. That was a great film. Now be maybe we can go to bed? If I can remember which one of these is my bedroom. Oh, we got an SMS from Unknown. Hello, little boy. Okay, uh, immediately at this point, this is the part of the conversation where I would call the police. Um, who is it? How do you have my number? Oh, I'm a friend. Your night will be special. Leave me alone. My dad is a police officer and he's here. I don't think he's going to buy into this kid because he was standing staring at you outside. You don't have a father, Brad, and you're all alone. After midnight, I meet you. Please leave me alone. Should we text our mum? Look, I feel that would be... Oh, we can't. Wonderful. Thanks, mum. This isn't my room. So which one is my room? This one. Okay. We have an ensuite? That's fucking amazing! I, like, I own my own house and I don't have an ensuite. I'm very upset. But Brad gets an ensuite. I actually don't know. Shit. I'll see if the doors are still locked. Okay, that's locked. I'm hoping I've seen all the doors. Damn, I'm getting paranoid. Okay, they're both locked. But it is pissing it down with rain. Oh, there was someone there. Locked doors. I think I'll get some sleep. Someone just booked it along the front of the house. Very hard to see with the VHS filter, but they were definitely there. Wonderful. Can't wait to die. Oh my god, so no. Do love a good death, guys. Now, what's he gonna do? Break in the house? Pfft, come on. That only happens in Home Alone movies. Right? Right? Wonderful. Someone's at the door. Who could have rung the bell at this time of night? Well, we should probably go and see. Nobody? That's very strange. A new text from Unknown. Midnight. Oh shit, it is midnight. It's 12.1am. Okay, that's locked. Back door. Are you locked? Oh no, I need my flashlight, which is in my room. Okay, the back door is still locked. The top floor is still locked. The doors are locked, is what I mean. Flashlight. Okay. Probably dead. I'm gonna be real. Bad time to run out of energy, huh? What does the guy want? I'll check if everything's okay. Front door is locked. There's no way in a billion years I'm unlocking the door for the record, so... This can only be a joke. I mean... New SMS from Mummy. Brad, went out of power all over town. Is everything okay? Mum, I'm so scared. I received some unknown messages. Did you lock the doors? Don't worry, it must be someone playing a prank. It's all locked up, Mum, but I saw someone hanging around our house. Call the police! Right now, Mum. So don't even think about going outside. Mum needs to get back to work. Kisses. This is the worst parent of the year award. Yeah, someone's at our house. Potentially trying to break in, sending me threatening texts. Okay, well don't call the police. I won't contact the police. You'll be fine. I 
I'm assuming something terrible is going to happen very soon. Both doors are currently locked, but that means absolutely fuck all in the grand scheme of things. Can I just hide? I'm very sleepy, but I don't want to sleep in this darkness. Okay. Got a plan? I wouldn't be able to sleep after this had happened. I don't know about any of you, but I would be like, actually, fuck this shit. I don't think I will. Alright, do we have to go and... F no, the power's out all over town, right? So he didn't cut the power. It's just like a thing. Alright. Oh! Oh! Glad the energy is back. I'm not unlocking the door under any circumstances. Bad time- oh, I prefer no lights. I like the dark. Well, that's great and everything. Do not go to sleep. I'm waiting for you to sleep. Well, I'm going to sleep. The crazy man be done. Okay, Brad, right. This is some real alpha energy here, but I have to say, this is stupid as fuck. He's going to break in. He's going to break the glass on the back door, by the way, and open it that way, or just smash in the front door. That's also a possibility. He's going to just basically do what he can to fuck with us and ruin our day. And no amount of being a Chad is going to save you here, I think. I don't think, anyway. Brad. Yep. Told you. Absolutely fucking nailed it. Shit. Looks like someone broke the back door glass. Someone destroyed my root chakra? Oh no. I'm inside your house. I'm not sure you are. Because the door would be unlocked, right? Fuck. They're both locked. I'm actually shooting myself here. Did you hear that? Oh no, did he just open the back door? Did he just open the back door? I'm being fucked with. Like, he is enjoying this shit. He could be up here, by the way. He probably is up here, by the way. He's probably in my room. I can hear him moving around. You little bitch, baby. Just kidding. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? He's not here. Unless he's like in the closet or some shit that I can't interact with. No, he's not here. What an absolute dick. I still be using the flashlight at this point, by the way, but, you know. I don't see him or anything. I guess just wait till he fucks with us again? Shit. Tonight is going to be hard. Someone is actually at the door. Good night, child. Sorry to knock on your door so late at night. Hi, Dylan. Who are you? Are you the one trying to scare me? Scare you? Oh no, my car broke down around the corner. I need help. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Come on, boy. I just need to go in and use your phone. Are you home alone? My father is here. He's sleeping. I'm sorry, but I really can't help. Please, boy. Let me in. It's very cold in here, and I'm all wet. Um, 
Tell him to go. I cannot help. Please go away. I mean, he's going away. Is he gonna get killed by the killer or some shit? Is someone gonna just stab him as he leaves? You know what would be really creepy? If he just turned around and stared. He's going. Anyone could unlock that now, right? So he's definitely going to get in through the back door at some point. Guess we'll go back to bed. It sounds like you don't like helping people. I mean... Oh no. You fucking- oh no, again, I need to keep the doors locked. Is he actually gonna be fucking with the doors? Oh god, this is fucking terrifying. The doors are locked, dude. Like, what do you want me to do? They're both locked. Like, he can easily open that one, but it is locked, currently. There is at least some degree of a barrier between the two of you at this point in time. I'm having flashbacks to this Book of Blood game I played the other day. Where you had to keep the doors locked to this fucking little carnival hut you were in. I'm gonna go upstairs. Because this doesn't seem to be triggering anything. Except me. It sounds like you don't like helping people. Oh, it's from Mummy. Brad, answer me. It's urgent. Hi, Mum. What happened? The neighbour called me and said he saw someone coming into the house. I'm alone here, Mummy. Someone broke the glass in the back door. I love the way we didn't call the police. The neighbour called the police. If anything happens, hide under the bed. Bye, son! Alright, Mum. Don't worry. Probably should hide, right? It said he's in the house, right? Hide. Okay, he's in the house. He's in the house. Why can't I hide under the fucking bed? He's in the fucking house, game! Give me a break! Do I need to go and investigate? Because that sounds like a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> hide, 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 hide. Fuck me. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, that was actually genuinely scary. He's gonna come in. I drop the torch, like a fucking Muppet. Surely he's gonna just check under the bed and I'm dead. I do like the evil laugh he's doing just as he walks around, just to reinforce how evil he is. Couldn't he just, like, text me and then know where I am, because he's got my phone number? That seems very sensible on his part.
Am I meant to be just staying here? I'm gonna get out from under the bed and book it. Thank God the police arrived. Yes! The assassin noticed the arrival of the police and ran away. You survived. Yes! How do we know it's an assassin? What is Retry gonna do? Can we st start from the beginning or do we get another chance to like do it from like that choice? Oh, from the beginning? Or is it? Actually, I don't know if it is. Nah, it's from the beginning. That's a shame. I would have liked to have done it from the, uh, from that decision. But anyway, that was pretty good. I like that. That was a little creepy story. I think we got the good ending. I'm guessing the bad ending. You stay under the bed, he calls you, and you get killed. Sounds like a typical happy ending for this kind of game. But I thought this was pretty good and pretty interesting. So I'm going to check out another one in this very video from the same people. That's how amazing I am. Let's see what mm. happens there. All right, here we go with another 616 Games game. This one, I actually know nothing about this game. I don't even know what it's about. It's called The House of Rats. Let's check it out. I literally know nothing about this. Hi, I'm Ray. I received an inheritance from my late grandfather. I'm really excited about the new house, even though I've never met my grandfather. My lawyer, Kareem, has already released the house, and I'm going to start renovating it. After all, it's a very old house, and it's been abandoned for four years. I hope I can have a new life. Okay. Wow, this looks like a great property and an idealized location. The House of Rats. Direction. This guy is, I think he's pretty much making all these games mostly by himself with a few, yeah, or at least a small team. Like, and there's a lot of these. There's a lot. We have some larger projects in there to look at still. But some good stuff so far. Like, I thought that, that last game was fairly simple, but, you know, definitely wasn't bad. I think this is one of their earlier games, I want to say, but I don't know. The door is jammed. Well... By the way, you know what I say jammed in a stupid voice? I don't know if most of you know this, but it's a reference to a game called Undying that I played, like, in 2007 on YouTube, okay? And I constantly reference it, even to this day, because I'm really, really sad. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know. Alright, we can't get in the house. This is a good start. And I don't really see a clear way in. Do we have like a basement or anything? You know, like a... The shuttered basement things that you get that in the US, I assume. I'm not sure I've ever actually seen one for real. Okay, well this is not a good start, guys. We can't get into the building. Oh. The door wasn't jammed, it was just completely fucking <laughs> gated shut. Oh, hi there, little ratty. Hey Ray, welcome to the new house. Your grandfather loved this place, so he left the house to you in his will. It's been a band of four years since Mr. Burt died. It was very difficult to find him to fulfill the will. I left the green paint to paint the house as he had asked me to. I'll be going there tomorrow morning to see how the renovation's going. From his friend and attorney, Kareem. Okay, we can't pick up that, but that's fine. I guess we need to find the green paint to do some renovating, huh? Damn rats, the house is infested with them. I mean, this game is literally called House of Rats, so I would be a bit disappointed. I'd say that that was like a selling point of the property if you knew what it was called beforehand, right? Bit weird, the grass growing through the floor and the candles everywhere. February 1965. Serial killer wanted. Kidnaps people and so far no bodies have been found. The police made a drawing based on testimonies of people who saw the killer act. He is very dangerous and uses an axe to strike his victims. For more information, call the whistleblower disc 911. Okay, well, that's not good. I'm assuming he's here. Having a great time. Living his best life. This door has definitely seen better days. He's going to be in there. He's going to be in there. 
being a little numbkin. It's not bad. I'll get my suitcase from the car. Okay, I think we have very different standards on what is an okay house to live in. And this one. Very, very different standards. And that's okay, I guess. Alright. He said suitcase. That's not a suitcase. I'm going to start painting the house. I just need to know where Kareem left the painting supplies. That's a very good question. Kareem, where'd you leave the painting supplies? No one watching us, right? I don't see any at the moment, which is a little bit concerning. Oh, is this it? Paint rack. Oh, yes, it is. I thought that was like algae. I'll start downstairs. Shit, this will take a lot of work. Okay, well, that's all right. Paint. This won't take a lot of work at all. This will be done in seconds. What a beautiful color choice, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's paint the house vomit green. Guessing a serial killer is going to show up and kill us. Probably one-shot us. We'll see. I need to get more ink. Okay, yeah, the translation of these. They have improved over time, but they are not great. I'm going to be real. I would uh, put them at fairly badly translated. Now, obviously, the person who makes these games, their first language is not English. But the translation is not is not on a lot of the time. It's uh, very much off. Which does lead to some really funny dialogue in some of their games. The Clown's Fun, which I played on stream, has some very good stuff. I'm contemplating making a video of it just because I thought it was a pretty... One of their better works. But we do have two of their longer titles we haven't even tried to cover yet, so... Do I really have to paint this whole fucking house? I need to get more ink. Yeah, that's great and everything, but when is um, a giant rat or a serial killer dressed as a giant rat or a rat dressed as a giant serial killer going to show up and kill me? I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of hoping this isn't a serial killer this time because, like... Their games are always about serial killers. It would be nice to have one about a killer rat. Called, called Dave. Let's call it Dave. Keith's a name I was going to go for, but, you know. Keith's a little bit, like, cliche at this point. There's lots of rats called Keith, is what I'm saying. Alright, I feel the downstairs, I think, is mostly done. I don't know if I have to paint, like, every little fucking bit of it. But I feel like we're definitely getting there on the downstairs now, guys. What do you think? Isn't this beautiful? Like, you wouldn't know that this house was a hideous, dilapidated ruin mere moments ago. But, um, it was, actually. Tomorrow we'll paint the second floor, try and get some sleep. I'm very tired. Okay, well, absolutely nothing has happened so far. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be completely safe. Let's go to sleep in the middle of the day, like a normal, healthy person. Like me, actually. My sleep is fucked, guys. Holy shit. Is a rat going to climb in our mouth? Or poo in our mouth? Or climb and poo in our mouth? <laughs> Impossible to sleep with these noisy rats. Okay. Ah! Fuck, that got me. That genuinely got me. Did not expect to be outside the room. Shit, it was just a dream. It's already morning. Oh, 
I'll start painting on the top. Kareem should be here soon. Okay, that, that got me. Did not expect it to get me, but it did. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be fucking... I would, this is like one of the worst colours I've ever seen in my fucking life. Okay, that was a little bit creepy. Why can't I paint these walls? Is this going to paint all of them? I hope it does. That'd be good. Hmm. Sometimes it, like, paints the entire wall, and sometimes it doesn't. And I guess this wall can't be painted because it's got a massive fucking hole in it. It's very strange. Seems like RNG painting. See, that was great. More of that for the whole house. Just like I apply a bit outside and the whole house goes green. Would make my fucking day. Probably gonna have to paint all the individual walls here, unfortunately for me. Oh, looks like Kareem's arrived. Wow! What a great guy Kareem is. Hi, Kareem. Hi, Ray. How are you? Did you like the house? Hi, Kareem. I love the house, but I need an urgent de detection team. The house is infested with rats. Mice? No rats, Kareem. How strange. Tomorrow morning, I send a team to detect the house. Thank you, friend. Come. Let's go in to see how the renovation's going. All right, Kareem. Let's do this. It's beautiful, right? What do you think? Isn't this the nicest house? You're pretty fast, Ray. You've already painted the whole downstairs. I've actually almost painted the entire upstairs, Kareem. Now, let's fuck. Your grandfather would be very proud of you. Yeah, he did love Pete Green a lot. Reminded him of the war. I don't know which one, just the war. Okay. You know that one, Kareem? The war? I'm gonna go in that door and get killed by a giant rat person? I don't know what the fuck. Well, okay, this is the thing that I couldn't paint either. This wall needs to be broken, it's rotten. In the attic, there should be a sledgehammer. The filling here is horrible. Okay. Well, here's the attic. I need to go, Ray. I just came here to see if you're okay. See you, friend. Well, thanks very much. Don't mind helping or anything, just fuck off. I thought he came out here because he loved me, chat. Because he loved me. I'm going to finish painting the second floor. Wow. Masterpiece. Let's go. I'm guessing Kareem's going to get eaten. Yeah, I can't paint certain walls, which is just really fucking weird. Like, this wall's off limits because it's got things propped up against it, I guess. Oh, no! It's not. Wow. That's amazing. It's only this wall left, I think. Oh, no, it's not. There's one in here, right? There's one in this room. Yeah, or two. Boom. Finally, I finished the painting. I need to access the attic to get something and fix that rotten wall. All right, let's go. Serial killer's definitely going to be up here. Uh, what's this? I'm not feeling well. It's probably all the blood that's creeping into your field of vision on the right and left hand side of you. <sighs> oh, okay, it's loading. I thought I died then, but I didn't. Oh, it was loading. The hole calls me. This hole is my hole. It was made for me. <sighs> 
Shit, what happened? I think I'm working too hard. Yeah, that must be it. It's not nothing to do with the house being cursed or full of bodies or whatever, right? Where's the sledgehammer? Or did they mean the axe that's covered in blood? An old axe covered in dry blood? No, I guess they didn't. But I don't see a sledgehammer. Probably gonna get killed here. What a headache, I need to go to bed. I'll continue the house renovation tomorrow. Sounds like a great idea where nothing can go wrong. Okay, I'm a bit more invested now. This is interesting. Oh no. What's this mechanic? I don't like this at all. You can fuck off. You can fuck off, sir. Okay. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going crazy in this house. I need to break that damn wall. Alright, we'll get the sledgehammer stroke axe. Oh, now it's a sledgehammer. How convenient. Broke. Broke the wall. Broke it good. Give it a good broking. My god, there are several bodies inside the wall. Hi there. Ray, I always wanted to meet you. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance. Oh, hi, Grandfather. Are you my grandfather? Were you the one who killed all these people? Yes, Ray, I'm your grandfather. I killed to feed the mice. They keep the house safe. My god, that's horrible. You took the lives of many innocent people. You are family. You need to continue our work. This house is all our legacy. Mice are part of us. Do you want me to kill people? No, I'll never do this. Me? Not me, Ray. The house wants. My grandfather was the murderer who was never arrested. I was very scared by this. Does he want me to continue with this? Wants me to be a murderer like he was? I feel trapped here. My mind wants me to leave, but my body doesn't. Okay. It's not over yet, apparently. Are we going to kill Kareem with a fucking axe? Because that would be dope. We should kill Kareem. What's happening to me? I think these mice are driving me crazy. Feed the walls, feed the rats. Must be the pest control guy. I'm finally getting rid of the rats. Gra hooray! What could go wrong? Hi there. Good morning, sir. I'm from the extermination team. It was Kareem who sent me. Thank you, Pasquale. Oh, good morning. Glad you came. The house is infested with rats. So I'll get to work. Rest assured, the poison does not harm humans. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. That's right. Nice and comfortable. <laughs> you gonna say anything or are you just gonna walk around like a twat? <laughs> Shit, what did I do? I didn't do it! Oh. Whoops, whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Um. Carrying will be here soon. I need to hide the body. <laughs> the damn house made me kill this man. Shit. There we go. He goes in the wall. Everything's fine. Probably gonna kill Kareem. Probably need to get rid of this. Like, this is really obviously 
like his van, right? Um. Hmm. I guess just tell Kareem that we had a jam-related incident and everything will be fine. It'll probably be fine. Kareem won't suspect a thing. I mean, this is obviously a bit suspicious as well, but don't worry about that. It's fine. A few days passed. Kareem didn't show up. The house is driving me crazy. The giant mouse watches me while I sleep. Mice need to eat. My body's just a part of the house. The house is just a part of the mice. I decided to accept my fate and honor my family. After all, this is my home now. But this giant rat's making me angry. He needs to die, and that's why I decided to buy a revolver. Okay. Is the rat giant rat gonna be me? Is that gonna be the twist? Wow, what a twist. I need to keep painting the house. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing. The axe changes into a sledgehammer. It's like a magic axe. It's like a really versatile axe. Shit, where's Kareem gone? He hasn't visited me for days now. Feeling really heavy. I'm going to lie down. Okay. That's why we need to lie down. But we need the gun this time, right? To shoot the rat. Hi! I, s I fucking see you. Enough, you bastard. You're going to die now. the fuck is the fucking rat guy? I'm gonna fucking mow you down with my seven bullets that I bought with my revolver this week. No idea if I died or not. I killed the damn mouse that was pissing me off. I managed to get a peaceful night's sleep, but the house still needed to feed. The mice are always hungry. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm not me anymore. I became a monster. I became a mouse. And now I actually love these fluffy, dirty creatures. We're gonna kill Kareem, presumably. Kareem! Where are you, Kareem? Oh, they're everywhere now, look. Just like, chilling out. Just like, yeah. This is my bro. Just thought we left- we left one axe down here. Well, no sign of Kareem at the moment, so let's, uh, I don't really know what we should do. Oh, have a seizure, apparently. Without even realizing it, I turned into a murderer, guilty and alone. My only family had hair all over, bare ears and a tail. The mice became part of me and I became part of them. I no longer bothered with their presence. In fact, I even liked it. I regret being this monster and I don't want to hurt anyone. My family, I'm sorry. This is my confession and my suicide letter, Ray. Oh, wow. We blew our brains out. Pasquale hadn't decayed a lot. That's quite impressive. Oh, we hung ourselves. Okay. Well, that was a depressing fucking story. But uh, not bad overall. Not a bad little creepy horror adventure. I hope you enjoyed these two 1980 horrors from 616 Games. If you did, leave a like on the video. Support us on Patreon. And uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys are nomkins. I'm going to try and bring you as many videos as I can this month. And next month, I'm going to go on a bit of a kick. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you really soon. My super duper amazing numpkins.